Hi, welcome to my ingredients analysis and application demo of the brand new Peter Thomas Roth Pro Strength Retinoid Peptide Serum. As you know, this summer I took a break from retinols and instead I used the Herbivore Bacotool Retinol Alternative Smoothing Serum. I have two videos up on that product. The first one is the ingredients analysis and just the application of the product, my first impressions, and the second video I shot about six weeks later, and I showed you the results I achieved from this serum. Now, summer is over, <laughs> whether we like it or not, and it's time for me to reintroduce a retinol into my skincare regimen. I was on the Sephora app and I was going to repurchase the Peter Thomas Roth Pro Strength 3% Retinoid Plus, which I've used in the past and have had amazing results with. And I saw that they had just come out with this new serum. This serum is combines retinoids with peptides and I love both of those ingredients. I'm 36 years old and it's just so important to me that I am putting the right ingredients on my skin. So I decided I just had to try this one out for myself. I did a lot, and I mean a lot of research into the ingredients in this product. Today I am going to share them with you in the most concise way I possibly can. And we are going to really investigate what goes into this product, what are the ingredients, and what do they do for our skin. And I want to share this information with you because when you know this, it will help you to become a more informed consumer when you buy your cosmetics, your skincare, and your hair care products yourself. If you're not that into ingredients, don't worry about it. You can find a timestamp down below in my description box and a clickable timestamp in my comments, and you can go right to the application portion of today's video. But I do suggest that you watch the ingredients portion of this video because knowledge is power. So in today's video, we are first going to review the ingredients in this product. Then we're going to try on this product for the first time together and I will share with you how it feels going onto the skin, what the texture of the formula is like, if there's a scent, and anything else that comes to mind. Finally, I am going to leave you with a very helpful tip. It's more of a, a rule of thumb on how to apply your skincare ingredients. So if you have serums, lotions, eye creams, creams, SPF, and you're not quite sure how to apply them, don't worry, I'm going to give you a very handy tip that will just cut out all the doubt and you'll know exactly what to do. So before we get started, please make sure you subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and you hit that notification bell so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. And trust me, you don't want to. I have so many great products that I just cannot wait to share with you. This is the Biosense Squalane Oil, and this one is the Biosense Squalane Vitamin C Rose Oil. I'm also trying out another peptide soon. I have the Dr. Robux Firming Serum. This uses copper peptides. And if you are a peptide person, I also have this Drunk Elephant Proteiny Polypeptide Cream. So I have so many great reviews coming your way. Don't miss them. Subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell. So let's jump right into these ingredients. If you log on to the Sephora app and you type in the Peter Thomas Roth Pro Strength Retinoid Peptide Serum, the product will pop up right away. Once it does, you click on the ingredients tab and then the list of ingredients in the product show up and Peter Thomas Roth has highlighted three ingredients at the top of the list. We are going to go through those three ingredients first and then go through the remaining. Now, the first ingredient is the Grand Active Retinoid 10%. This is an ingredient that's formulated by a company called Grant Industries 
that makes and produces different ingredients that go into cosmetics and skincare products. This, the actual name of this ingredient is hydroxypenicolone retinoate, and they're calling this ingredient a novel retinoid. So a little bit of a science background on retinoids is that they can be purchased over the counter or through a prescription. If you purchase it through a prescription, that product is called tretinoin, and it's in the most active form. It's a retinoic acid. When you put a retinoic acid onto your skin, the receptor, the retinoid receptors in your skin immediately bind to it and the whole cascade begins with the response to the body that results in the improvements you see on your skin. And I'm talking about a cell turnover and renewal that is going to turn into more plump skin, a reduced rate of collagen breakdown, more elasticity and more thickness in the skin that's going to help to just minimize those fine lines and wrinkles. This is why we use retinols. Well, that's the retinoic acid. But when you buy a retinol over the counter, so this is products you can find in the pharmacy, products you can find at stores like Sephora, even grocery stores have creams that contain retinols. So when you use those over the counter products, they're not a retinoic acid. So when you put that into your skin, the retinoid receptors don't recognize it right away. And what has to happen is a metabolic breakdown of the retinol into a retinoic acid. This uses, your body uses enzymes to do this and it takes a while. And depending on the strength of the retinol you're using, the amount of time it takes for the breakdown to occur for the product to turn into a retinoic acid can be quite lengthy. Now, Grant Industries is calling this Grant Active Retinoid 10% a novel retinoid because when you put it on your skin, your body is recognizing it as a retinoic acid right away. That means it's going to work way, way, way faster. So that is the real appeal of this ingredient and perhaps that's why this serum is $110. Now, Grant Industries is also saying that this ingredient is as powerful as in a prescription strength retinol but it has a lower irritation so they're saying two things with this ingredient is going to work a lot faster than any other retinols and it's going to have a lot less irritation they also say that it slows the effect of melanin production so you're going to have a more evened out skin tone and it reduces the rate of collagen breakdown here's the catch I could not find any independent research on this ingredient. All the research I found on the internet, and like I said before, if it's there, I will find it. I can't find any independent evidence-based research on this ingredient. So essentially, we have to take Grant Industries' word for it. Now, my, my gut feeling is that it's true and it does work. However, it would be nice to see independent sources validating that as well. Well, we don't have that, but we do have me, and I am going to try out this product for the next six weeks, and you know me, I'm always honest, and I will tell you if it works or not, and what my experience is, is with the product. So that's the first ingredient, the Grand Active Retinoid 10%. The next one that, Peter Thomas Roth highlighted is the Pomatoil Hexapeptide 14. Now, peptides, they are, they're kind of this tricky little ingredient. You put it on your skin and they start to send, send signals within your skin to start getting some skin firming, smoothing, and wrinkle fighting effects. And it actually tells your brain that there's some sort of injury and your brain needs to produce or your body needs to produce more collagen in that area. I personally love peptides, and like I said, I picked this one up because I saw it said peptide on the bottle, great marketing, but I also picked up the copper peptide product as well, which I'll review later, because I cannot get enough peptides. So once this starts to happen, once you put peptides on your skin, you start to stimulate cell migration all the old cells are gonna be pushed out and new cells are going to replace them. 
And there's also a rapid reproduction of fibroblasts. Fibroblasts produce collagen. So with this ingredient, you're getting increased collagen production, you're getting a reduced appearance in your fine lines and wrinkles, and it's going to help to just really even out that skin and make it very smooth and firm. Peptides are our friends. The last ingredient that was mentioned is the ceramide NP. Now this is really interesting because uh, the stratum corneum is the, our outer layer of our skin. And in our skin barrier, we have our skin cells, and then we have this thing called the lipid matrix. The example you'll see all over the internet about this is, think of your skin cells as bricks, and the lipid matrix as the mortar between the bricks. Now the lipid matrix is composed of ceramides, fatty acids, and cholesterol. And this product contains ceramide NP. There's nine types of ceramides, and these are great for dry skin. If you have dry skin, you probably have a ceramide deficiency. And ceramides are just very replenishing and restoring to our skin. And the lipids in general, the lipid matrix just helps our skin to prevent losing moisture. It helps to prevent something called TEWL, transepidermal water loss. So I have to say, I am really excited about the top three ingredients that they chose to show in this product. Now, they aren't though the top three ingredients in the formula. The formula has a lot of silicones in the beginning, so keep that in mind too. If you're looking at a product and it's and it's really promoting some ingredient, but the ingredient is towards the bottom of the list, there's not that much of the ingredient in the formula. This product at the 10th ingredient is the Gran Active Retinoid, and the Pomatoyl Hexapeptide is right after that, as is the Ceramide NP. So in my opinion, that's fair. Now, in the lipid matrix, I mentioned that there was the Ceramide. I also said there's fatty acids. And I cannot even believe how many fatty acids are in this formula. When I was going through the list, my jaw was just dropping. There are so many of them. They help to decrease that TEWL, transepidermal water loss. They're also antimicrobial and anti-inflammatory. So you can see the list I have up on the screen of all the different fatty acids in this formula and I do want to point out that the oleic acid is comedogenic. That means it is not the best thing if you have acne prone skin. It's going to essentially clog your pores. And in this formula, the palmitic acid and the steric acid both work as emulsifiers. So they help to improve the consistency of the formula and keep the oil ingredients and the water-based ingredients mix in nicely with each other. If you have issues with oleic acid and you look for, you're looking for something more non-comedogenic, the lin linoleic acid, sorry, that is more of a lightweight type of acid, that is good for acne prone skin. That's just a side note if you're looking at ingredients in products going down the road. The next set of ingredients are the triglycerides and triglycerides are fatty acids plus glycerin. And remember, glycerin is just that super hydrator. It's a wonderful humectant. And what it does is it just holds water in that's just in the air and on top of our skin. It pulls it in and it just helps to retain that moisture and give us a beautiful, plumped up, youthful looking skin. All of these triglycerides have very skin conditioning properties. I do want to point out that the caprylic capric triglyceride is also a dispersing agent, and it just keeps the ingredients in this formula evenly distributed. It does also help to boost the shelf life of the serum. Next up, we have the silicones. And silicones form this film-like structure over the skin that kind of looks like a net. And within this net, oxygen, nitrogen, nutrients can pass through, however, water cannot. 
So it helps us to retain the moisture within our skin. It reduces that trans epidermal water loss. Now there are two silicones in particular I want to point out in this formula, and they are cyclopentasiloxane and polysilicone 11, which is made by Grant Industries. And these two ingredients work as a delivery vehicle for the palmitoyl hexapeptide 14, which means that they help to deliver that peptide complex to the skin and to penetrate it in the most effective way possible. That's why those two silicones are in there. And just as a side note, these delivery systems, they can go one of two ways. They can either be physical or chemical. Physical delivery systems are more from an electric charge, a current, or in some sort of thermal way. Whereas chemical delivery systems can come from organic solvents, fatty acids, alcohols, and surfactants. And surfactants are surface active agents, and they help to reduce the tension within the formula between the different ingredients so everything flows more smoothly. I next wanna to touch on the extracts, and there are quite a few extracts in this formula. They all have skin soothing effects. Remember when they said that this formula wasn't as irritating? I have to assume a big part of that is from all of these wonderful extracts they have put into it. I do wanna point out that the cucumbus sativus, which is cucumber extract, that has a very non-irritating scent to it, so I am curious to know if this formula is going to have some sort of cucumber scent. And it also is very skin conditioning and it forms this gel-like barrier on the skin to keep the skin very moisturized. All right, we are almost done. We next have the sodium hyaluronate, which are smaller molecules than hyaluronic acid, but it is hyaluronic acid, and it's going to penetrate deep into the skin, really hold that moisture in, and help our skin to look just as youthful and beautiful as possible. I use products with sodium hyaluronate in it every single day. I love this ingredient. We next have sodium PCA, which is part of the skin's natural moisturizing factor. Our skin has its own hydrating system. Sodium PCA is part of it, and it's also a humectant. We then have squalene, which is which mimics the skin's natural oils. This is an excellent emollient, and I have noticed squalene popping up everywhere. I'm going to do a full video review on this squalene oil, which I mentioned earlier. I can't wait to start using this product. And lastly, we have tocopherol, which is vitamin E, one of my favorite antioxidants, and this has just a very skin smoothing effect, and it's going to help to really smooth out those fine lines and wrinkles. To finish this up, this formula has two preservatives in it. It also has two solvents, and the solvents help to decrease the thickness of the formula, to not let it get into that cream light state, and instead it's going to remain very fluid. We also have mica, which is a mineral, and it's very sparkly in nature. It can be used to bulk up a formula, so I am curious to know if this serum has more of a shimmery type effect in it, or if perhaps the mica was used as more of a bulking agent. So those are all the ingredients. I hope you found this informative. I did days and days of research on these products to really understand their mechanisms, what they were there for, and I read up on each and every single one. So if you did like that, please right now give this video a thumbs up because that was a lot of work and it was amazing work. It didn't feel like work because I just, I love this stuff, but I thoroughly researched that for this video. So now I am going to take off all my makeup, take off these false lashes, and I'm going to come back to you in a minute, completely makeup free and ready to try on this serum. I've now taken off my makeup, but I did put just a touch of this Drunk Elephant Hydra Intensive Hydration Serum mixed with one drop of the Drunk Elephant Virgin Marula Luxury Facial Oil on my skin. I had to give my skin something. It's so dry, I wouldn't have made it through 
this part of the video without just having a little bit of hydration and emollients on my skin. So now let's get into the actual application of the product. And the box says that the product is one fluid ounce, which is 30 milliliters. And remember, before I told you, it does retail for 110 US dollars. They do have a picture on the side of the box that says clinically shown to reduce the look of fine lines and wrinkles to less than half their original appearance in just two weeks. And they have a woman with the before and after of the fine lines and wrinkles underneath her eye. And they're attributing that to the grand active retinoid. So in opening up the box, let's see what we have in here. Here I can see just the tiny bottle inside and ooh, I'm right, it is tiny for some reason. I was expecting it to look bigger based on the box size and the photo on the box. The formula is also in a dark tinted bottle, which I'm sure is done to keep the uh, ingredients active and not let the sunlight erode away at the formula. So the top of the bottle does have one of those buttons that you use to get the product into the pipette. And the product itself, it seems to have this yellow tint to it. I'm not detecting much of a scent at all, maybe just the slightest hint of cucumber, but I don't know if that's just because when researching the ingredients, I have cucumber on my brain. But I would say it's essentially odorless. So I am going to put a few drops on my fingers. Okay, and it's quite runny. Oh, it's very smooth. It's very thin and smooth. Yeah, I'm not getting a scent at all. And I can see it's almost already completely gone into my hand. So this is a product you need to work quickly with in order to not lose too much of the formula. Now, I think I'm going to have to put a little bit more onto my hands because this went into my skin very, very quickly. So I'm just going to press it all over my face, my neck, and my chest. I'm choosing to put this formula all over my face, my neck, and my chest because I used the previous one, the other Peter Thomas Roth, all over, and I got great results with it. My skin just looks so smooth, and my wrinkles really did seem, not my wrinkles, my fine lines really did seem to diminish. So I'm just gonna to need to use this all over my face. Now remember, you never do what I just did, which is to put it on during the day. This is a product you only use at night. And during the day, you should use a broad spectrum sunscreen all over your face, your neck, your chest, your whole body. But this does make your skin a little bit more sensitive to the sun, so sun protection is an absolute must. So over the next six weeks, I am going to just use this product every single night. And I am going to take photos of my face, maybe some videos as well of my skin, and just see how it's improving while I'm using this product. Right now, I have to say, overall, I am very impressed with the ingredients in the formula. I think they look great. It is possible that there is no long-term research on the Grand Active Retinoid because it's a brand new ingredient to the cosmetic and skincare industry. That could be a reason for it. However, with that being said, I am looking forward to trying out this product and seeing what it does for my skin. So make sure you stay tuned for another six weeks from now for the follow-up video. I am going to just now wash my face and put on some sunscreen because I don't have anything on and I am so conscious of my skin with the light from outside coming through. And then I'm going to share my rule of thumb with you on the order you should use your skincare products in. So I'll see you back in just a second. My rule of thumb when applying skincare products is to always go from the thinnest consistency to the thickest consistency. So with that being said, I always start off with my facial serum and my eye serum because those have the lowest viscosity. Viscosity is resistance to flow. So those flow quite rapidly, quite fluidly. So those ones I wanna put on first because they're also going to penetrate deeper into my skin. 
So after I put on my face serum and my eye serum, I then put on a facial oil. And I like to use facial oils because I have such incredibly dry skin. After my oil, I put on an eye cream and I follow that with my lotion and broad spectrum sunscreen during the day and my rich hydrating moisturizing cream at night. So I always do thinnest to thickest. And if you are looking at all your products and you're completely confused as to what the order is, just remember thinnest to thickest and suddenly it becomes so clear. So overall, I have to say I am pretty impressed so far by what I've seen with the Peter Thomas Roth Pro Strength Retinoid Peptide Serum, and I'm expecting good things from it, but there's only one way to find out, and that's using the serum every single night, which I will be doing for the next six weeks. My biggest problem areas on my face in terms of fine lines and wrinkles are just underneath my eyes, and right now I am in the process of losing weight. I am counting my calories and exercising a ton. So when I am on the more thinner side, I usually do get some marionette lines right around my mouth. So I'm hoping that this serum will help to counteract that during my weight loss journey. And I do expect in the next six weeks that I will have lost a somewhat significant amount of weight, at least 10 pounds. So anyways, please check back for a follow-up video. And just remember, I am always completely honest in my reviews and whatever happens, I am going to share with you. Thank you so much for watching and please do not forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I look forward to seeing you again very soon and stay tuned because I have just right in front of me, boxes of incredible products that I cannot wait to review for you. And they are all the latest, newest products available on the cosmetics and skincare and hair care markets. So stay tuned. Bye bye, and I'll see you very, very soon. Thank you for watching. Subscribe now to Lauren O'Connell Beauty TV, and let's navigate together through the world of beauty.